In the last part, we created our player and managed to move around. However, we can't see the actual ball, so let's fix that. Back in the player blueprint, I'm going to give the ball its own camera. And I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to set it back just a little bit out here somewhere. And I'm just going to raise it up and just have it look down at the ball. I'm going to double check to see what it looks like. That looks okay. And before I compile and save, I would like to point out that, that I'm going to turn off the rotation on the ball here by opening up the constraints under the physics section and just checking the X, Y, and Z for lock rotation. If I don't do that, then all the child components will rotate with it. In this case, the camera ro will rotate along with the ball and that can cause motion sickness. I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to compile and save and let's play. Now we can see the ball moving. Very simple, right? You can adjust the distance and the angle that you would like the camera to look in. Though I don't want to leave you off with just one option on making the camera. So let's check out the other ways you can do it. If you want the camera to zoom in to the player or away, depending if there's an obstacle or level geometry in the way, then use spring arm for that. Add spring arm component and have the camera before I do that, I'm going to reset the camera and have that be a child of the spring arm. We can adjust the length of the arm over here in the camera section where it says target arm length. I'm going to leave it to maybe 400 and we can rotate it like we did with the standalone camera over here. Now we can compile and save and test it out. So let's have the player go around this pickup. The camera will zoom in to the ball and when it gets out from behind, the camera can spring back away. If you want to keep the spring arm and turn off that feature, select the spring arm and over here in the details panel where it says camera collision, there is a checkbox called do collision test. Turning it off will make the camera not zoom in or out to the ball and underneath, in the lag section, there is an option to enable camera lag. You can check it to make the camera have that nice catching up kind of movement once the ball moves a little bit. So let's play to see what it's like. The motion doesn't feel stiff like the previous iterations. The ball is moving, then the camera catches up. It's nice. Lastly, if you just want a fixed angle camera looking down on the stage, then it might be a little tricky. First, we need to add in a new camera to the level. Then right click on it either from the level viewport or from the world outliner and select pilot camera actor. This can make moving and orienting, orientating the camera a little easier. So, I, so I'll have my view something like this right around here I think is a good spot uh, probably a little off probably looking to the left a little more probably I think that's good and then I can leave by clicking on this little eject button on the top left corner of the viewport here next while selecting the camera we can go to blueprints up here and open up level blueprint it doesn't make a new blueprint down in the content browser, but this is for the level only. What we are going to do is tell the game, we're going to tell Unreal that when we begin playing the level, we want to use the camera that we already put in. So we need event begin play. We need that. So we also need a reference to the camera that we were working with. So we can right click and we can see create a reference to camera actor and who is this for well this is for the player so we need to get player controller and that is right here and lastly we need the event the function node that will actually do this set the view for us with these nodes so turning off context sensitive i'm going to type in set target or view target my bad with blend and now it's time to connect the notes begin play will activate this function without it it won't run it 
camera actor will be the new target view target and the player controller will be the target. So let me just organize this a little bit. And so let's compile and save. And when we run it, it's in a fixed angle view, which is pretty cool. If this is what you want, you can keep it like this. For me, I'll stick to the spring arm type of camera like before. So I'm going to get rid of the blueprint code and, and set up the camera off video. That's it for this part. But if you're coming from Unity, please stick around just a little bit. I'm going to point out the similarities or differences between the two engines. Wow, so we just pulled off some stuff with the camera. In Unity, it's pretty easy to make a static fixed angle camera. Just need to add in a new camera component. I already have one here for this project and I can just untick this, this code. And if I play right now, the camera won't move or follow the ball around. It's pretty simple to do it like that. We don't have to code it to tell Unity that this is the camera that we want to see from. But everything else in Unity, it seems like you have to program and it can be a little bit scary to pull off something like what the spring arm can do where you can zoom in or zoom out or have that nice smooth lagging effect. If you don't want to program those effects, Unity does have an alternative package called Cinemachine. There are some cool cameras that you can use to help follow the play around or to make cutscenes or you can just have it set on a track. It's pretty neat. So that's a wrap for this part. There were a few ways to set up the camera, so it's up to you on how you would like to do it. Comment down below if you have any questions or would like to share a method on setting up the camera. There's more info about the cameras in the description. And leave a like if this helped, and I will see you in the next level. Bye!